guys welcome to my channel thank you always for supporting me I will be with you to inspire you to inform you to encourage you and to educate so having said that I have uh, here with me one of my teammates here in this channel as well as my co-teacher sir Ted Amil Asidoy he will be doing series of the tutorial on Facebook uh, features that can be used as one of the platforms and online teaching so we are here to help our fellow teachers as well as our students uh, to maximize the use of uh, Facebook for our advantage so let us welcome Sir Ted uh, good day so as tasked by Sir Russell Sumbito I'll be creating a series of video tutorials about applications we can use in teaching online so this tutorial is first of the series focusing on the platform Facebook, specifically the Facebook group. But before that, I would like to share this message from Joshua 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So in these times of crisis, as the pandemic intensifies, uh, teachers are encouraged to get out of our comfort zones. So we're always afraid of things we do not know. So some teachers are uh, skeptical in using this, these applications because they thought it's complicated. And some teachers might say that uh, we should focus on the traditional way of teaching. But I think uh, learning is a continuous thing regardless of age. So if we try to teach or if we try to coach our fellow teachers, I think we can simplify things. So please follow the mouse pointer, the red one, so you will not get lost in this video. So let's begin with uh, installing Facebook in your smartphones. So uh, majority of the smartphones has Facebook pre-installed already. But if you don't have a Facebook app, you should go to Play Store and try to find uh, Facebook. And then you search so Facebook right here, in my case, you will see an open button instead of an install button because Facebook is installed already in, smart, in my smartphone. So if you have already installed your Facebook, you should open the Facebook app and then you should go to this option. In this, tab, uh, in this uh, screen, you will see a groups tab. If you try to click, click the groups tab, you will be re redirected to the screen. So you have your groups and create and this part right here. So this part right here are uh, all of the groups that I'm a member with. So if you try to click your groups, these are the groups that you have created. This one, groups you manage. So to create a new, a new group, uh, you should click the create button. So if you try to uh, click the create button, you'll be redirected to the screen. So create groups, so the name. So for example, I'm creating a group with my advisor in it. So grade 9, grade 9, Banaba. Uh, next is the cover photo. This is only optional because this is for design purposes only. So let's try to add the cover photo. So the grade 9, Banaba. And then click done. So it's uploading. So privacy, next is privacy. So this one is important. So if you try to click the privacy, you will be given two choices, public and private. So I suggest uh, choosing private because only members can see who is in the group and what they post. Unlike public, so uh, anyone with Facebook or a member of Facebook can interact with that group. So other people can see uh, things you posted in your group. So I suggest using private. <coughs> so private groups can be changed to public to protect the privacy of group members. And then click done. So if you choose uh, private, you'll be given with another tab, the hide group. So if you, cl if you click the hide group, you'll have two choices there, visible and hidden. So I suggest uh, choosing visible because anyone can find this group. They can search for this group, but they can, uh, if it's uh, private, they can see the things that are posted there. So try to uh, click for visible. 
hidden for hidden uh, other Facebook uh, users cannot find this group if they try to search the search bar only the admin or the one that manages the group can add them to the group so I suggest using visible because some of your students uh, will uh, try to access this group can find this group so try to uh, I'll, I'll suggest using visible next invite members so if, for example you have members in mind or students in mind already you can add them already in the screen so if you try to click this one so for example i'm adding uh, one of my uh, facebook profile or facebook account i created specifically for these videos so i'll try to search for ted so this is my second account and i'll tick this one the box one you tick this one to add him so next and you press next and then you're ready to create your group so try uh if you're ready to create your group you should click the create group button down here so creating group so, so after creating a group you'll be redirected to this screen so you have there uh grow your group with friends you can add your friends in there I describe your group so I can add a description of my group so these are all introductory you can edit these things later but I'll try to describe my group so I'll add class of 2020 2021 and then save so you can edit that one you can write a post so I'll uh, I'll write a post late later so if you try to uh, this one, so if you can see this one, this is the cover page we added when we created this group. You will find there a uh, search or a magnifying glass, which is a search button. So you can search there for certain uh, posts or certain uh, pictures you have uh, posted or certain files you posted. You can uh, write or uh, you can type there and you can uh, search for it. This one is the admin tools. So the admin tools will be discussed in the next video. This one is the edit for the cover photo. You can change the cover photo. This one, if you try to click the grade 9 banaba, the name of your group, it actually contains all of the information of your group. So about, so this is the description I typed a while ago, class of 2020-2021. So private, so this is the privacy of your group and visible. View group history, so this is the, uh, the date the group is created so recommended by admin so if you have other existing groups you can actually uh, give or you can recommend your members other groups to join so you can click this one and you will have the recommend existing groups uh, next uh, so next we have their members so as you can see as of now I'm the only member because the uh, my other account I still uh, didn't open it yet to accept the invitation for this group. So if you try to search, uh, if you try to click see all, uh, you will find there invited block, the invite button, admins and moderators there. So you can, if you can click uh, invited, so this is the list here, list of people you have invited. So Ted is invited, but uh, it, uh, he, or I didn't accept the invitation yet. So I'll go back in the block tab. Uh, these are uh, if you block someone in here, you can find the list of people you block or people that don't belong in this group. You can block them. The next button, this one is for invitation. You can invite all your students, your friends here. You can search for them. So RV, so Ryan, so Russell, I can add them here. DD, so Ruben. So to invite them, you should click this invite buttons here. Next, I'll go back. Next, so members, so Ted is an admin. Group activity, so three new posts today. We have one total member, so I'm the only member. Created a five minutes ago. So back. The next button is the invite button right here so if it uh, if you click this invite button it's still uh, the same with the one i showed you a while ago so you can invite people here so back uh, so this is the page so this buttons right here 
these are the things you can post in here so files photos and events but i'll discuss that in the part i think part three for part two we'll be focusing on the admin tools so i think uh that's all for now so thank you for listening and see you in the next video